This is from LA Times, and of course they have corny ass Latinx files. What is happening in Nicaragua? So they're they're trying to appeal to a, a quote unquote Latinx audience, right? And uh, and it's just interesting, like little things. Like I just want to read some of this and, and talk about some of the imagery because it's important to debunk how they perpetuate these narratives, right? That he's uh, that he's like uh, sexist, that he's like this horrible dude. And look at the picture they pick, right? Like let's just for those of you who are listening, it's Ortega standing up, his wife uh, Rosario Murillo, Vice President uh, Rosario Murillo who has like a serious face it's just kind of they were probably just caught off guard but it makes it seem like he's kind of belittling her you know like just from the imagery right what 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 do we understand and and receive when we get from this and basically the this author shitty ass author and his name is fidel martinez by the way we should revoke his name he doesn't deserve that name fidel but this is july 1st 2021 la times for the last month police in nicaragua have been rounding up and jailing opponents and critics of President Daniel Ortega. These arrests come ahead of the country's presidential election in November. Ortega is seeking re-election for the fourth time after his party successfully changed Nicaragua's constitution in 2014 to remove term limits. So the, the, a lot of word crafting here to make it seem like he, you know, it wasn't the people of Nicaragua who changed the constitution, it was his party. Um, and at least 20 people have been detained, including politicians running for president, activists, and journalists. As Times reporter Julia Barajas points out, the Ortega government is using a law passed last year that makes any act that would undermine Nicaragua's, quote, independence, sovereignty, and self-determination. The crackdown has caused concern and resulted in action from the international community, aka global whites and global <laughs> uh, human rights, quote-unquote human rights organization. Allies Argentina and Mexico recalled their ambassadors to Nicaragua last week, which is very unfortunate to hear. Uh, and the U.S. has imposed sanctions on four members of Ortega's administration. We continue to call on President Ortega and the Nicaraguan government to immediately release presidential contenders Cristiana Chamorro, Arturo Cruz, Felix Maradiaga, Juan Sebastián Chamorro, and Miguel Mora, and other journalists, civil society, and opposition leaders arrested in the current wave of repression, said U.S. Department of State spokesman Ned Price. We condemn this ongoing campaign of terror in the most unequivocal terms and consider President Ortega, Vice President Murillo, and those complicit in these actions responsible for their safety and for their well-being. Again, this is from the LA Times, quote unquote, Latinx files. And how corny is this, man? It's just like in spreading imperialist propaganda, but trying to sound woke at the same time. Your your reaction, uh, Comrade Aminta? I have to laugh because it's <laughs> like it's really absurd. It's really absurd, and it really just demonstrates, you know. Again, they want to frame Ortega as sexist, especially because you have Cristina and she's a woman. You know, the imagery yeah. is really powerful. I think it's really gross that they like chose this photo too, because if you know anything about Rosario, she's all about like youth engagement and she is such a pivotal member um of the nicaraguan government and i mean you know she has her own platform where she has speeches she's always about you know establishing a lot of support for um Juventud Sandinista, and she's also done so much development to really cultivate a lot of um cultural engagement, especially, you know, if you go to Managua, you see um, Puerto Salvador Allende, that was, that used to just be all, you know, um, undeveloped territory, land, a lot of it needed to be fixed up, and now it's beautiful, and it's a free port, people can go in, people can, you know, enjoy their time. We talk a lot about in the States how we wish that we had free places to gather for young people to have a, a place of belonging and a place to hang out. Here in, in, in Socialist Nicaragua, you have the implementation of that. And a lot of that is because of Rosario Murillo as well. She is an incredibly brilliant and talented politician and also poet. I mean, somebody who is really interdisciplinary in her craft. And yeah. the fact that they just want to, I think it's almost like, sexist right that they just want to like diminish her and remove all of the um work that she has done too because she is also a revolutionary uh, right. and she's doing just so much work um 
And it just is is so frustrating because again, I mean, oh, I don't know. Do you mind if we can scroll down if I could just see yeah. some of the words here? Anything that pops out? I mean, yeah, like of course they're gonna have a law that's for independent sovereignty and self-determination. <laughs> how dare the Los Angeles Times on talk about how the US has been establishing sanctions right. and crack down from the international community? I mean, that's again like they're the same international community is not holding the United States accountable for all the atrocities that it does internationally and also domestically as well. I mean, my God, how many human rights abuses has is the U.S. government, you know, directly accountable for and responsible for? So for them to just frame Nicaragua as, you know, this like dangerous terrorist nation is just it's so, so dangerous 